right, let's check this out. We got the new one. What is this? And <laughs> nice. Yeah, again, improvements. Definitely works better. I think there are still some moments where a bit too stiff in pose to pose. I think. Watch out. There's all the timing thing where whoop right there. Character going this way. Whoop is a bit fast. And it's mainly because you're you're already coming off the ground here. So for this to move this quickly it would have to be a push off this leg. But because it's already pretty much off and and kind of moving. Just physically, that's why it looks so off. Like there's no there's no way for the body to suddenly move forward so quickly without this pushing. Watch out, you gotta be a bit of a wobble in this arm. Right there. This is probably the first time we stop a bit abruptly. Let me see, you got this. So I would, I would soften and overshoot this guy, this arm a bit, but right there, we're getting into this. And then we lock. Gets a bit too, it's almost like, I mean, I see some pixels moving, but it's really, really locked through there. I think that's fine. How you go into this. Just watch out. Your arc on that nose is a bit strong and it's sudden direction change. And then the stop, you can soften that a bit too. This could also be, I mean, I understand that he, he wouldn't be like spliny with it. <gasps> he's, there's tension, he's, he's confused. But there's some moments, especially when you have a big piece like the upper body here that moves and rotates over, it suddenly stops and it's accentuated because the arms are locked to the body, right? You can see all of this moving and the arms are moving as well and then everything kind of stops. So watch this, right there. It has a bit of a locked feel right there. It goes up, watch out. You got a bit of a tangent right there. You can probably take this arm out, no? And then have a clean silhouette. Well, just maybe a bit. So have somewhere to go. Otherwise, you can bring this a bit lower and lower this guy a bit. But this is another one where it's a very strong and then it stops. And a lot of it is because of the arm and the upper body locked as one and then stopping as one. Same thing here. This is also very straight pathwise. I'm gonna give this a bit of an arc. And then, you know, he's balancing, so it's going to be a bit wobblier in the roots. The, the leg can go up and back down a bit. So this, this definitely stands out because you would, it's hard to hit a pose like this and lock it while you're balancing on one leg, especially with so much mass up there. This is another one. Even though you overshoot and come back, once you're done, we're locking again. So watch this. And shoo, bit too locked. And I see this frame oh this frame this arm coming down earlier but then it feels like we're hitting this pose at the same time so this in real time feels very pose to pose and then for polish watch out when you when you lean over like this you want some movement in there some squash and a pivot off of here but it's still there so i'm wondering what if for the next submission or just so we can look at it just send me your maya scene that being said, I do not have this rig, and I don't know, I don't know if you can share it. Um, obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep it. I wouldn't, you know, share the rig. But I wonder if that would be easier for me to show you those moments by adding some moving holds and stuff like that. If this works with this rig, if you can share this. But it's still better. Uh, I hope that makes sense to see what I mean with the holds. Uh, and if not, let me know. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.